Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. For more information, you can visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org. In this video, we will talk about uh, another project description that is genetic algorithm based optimized PID control for inverted pendulum. So if you are working in the electrical domain and particularly in control system domain, then you may have heard about inverted pendulum and that is a classical problem. So inverted pendulum means, uh, uh, I, ho I hope you have uh, uh, played a game in your childhood like you try to balance the stick on your single finger and you move your hands uh, randomly in other motions so that uh, the stick remains vertical in remains in vertical position uh, onto your finger so this particular setup is known as the inverted pendulum so when we try to make control algorithm or try to test the effectiveness of the controller uh, of the design controller we try to implement the same algorithm to balance the system so uh, so if we give you a visual look, so whatever we have, we have a cart here. The cart is uh, free to move in X direction and we have this vertical stick. So the, our main objective is to apply force on this cart so that this vertical stick remain in the uh, vertical position. So this, uh, uh, this combination makes it an inverted pendulum. And we try to make the controller uh, which can reject this kind of disturbance and can make it remain to the vertical. So when we go through the, uh, so in this project we have created a Simulink model uh, for this kind of system and uh, then we have designed a PID controller uh, which will try to control. So if we go for the mathematical, we try to reduce this theta angle of this vertical position to zero and then based on that we will provide you the complete description of it uh, in the video not in the video in the uh, project file so the mathematical description is provided and based on that we have find out the transfer function so we have used uh, these values uh, in our model and, and that model has been built on Simulink here so this is a vertical position model uh, and servo mechanism model and this is for the cart model and this is a, a PID controller and from here we are providing a, a impulse or a kind of disturbance at a specific input. So uh, what we try to make, uh, we try to now we have uh, made a normal uh, file or normal uh, genetic algorithm file and we will try to find the optimized value of the PID parameter so that uh, the disturbance is as minimum as possible. So what we now do, we will try to run, uh, run this uh, file and we will keep on visualizing the response of the model that is the angular position from the mean of this system that is from the theta location. On this one so our objective is as soon as there's a disturbance this disturbance should die out as quickly as possible and uh, a theta should retain to the zero position so this is a complete project file and uh, let's try to run it let's demonstrate it like uh, to show like this program is working so if we run this GFI it will start running and this will give you the position like what is the best value and what is the mean and here we'll keep on values so we are providing a disturbance at one second so uh, this genetic algorithm is trying to uh, put a best fit of the system so that uh, we can get the or so that we can mitigate the effect of this disturbance as soon as possible so right now it is taking up to three seconds to make it to zero and now one thing this system is very unstable so as soon as you provide a slight disturbance to it it goes out of uh, out of control but right now it is very clear like uh, the PID controller which we are uh, tuning that have made the system stable so even if uh, uh, it is taking uh, slightly more time to 
come back to its mean position so right now ga is trying to minimize these values and try to minimize this time to uh, stable it so let's wait for uh, some minute so that we can visualize like whether it is able to achieve its best position or not so right now best is 0 0.007 so if you want to purchase this project file or if you want uh, to if you need these project files then you can contact me or contact us at www.jcbrolabs.org or you can mail us about the same at jcbrolabs at gmail.com So we have made the optimization for thousand iterations. It may take more time, but uh, yeah, we will be see if it is uh, more robust. Let's make it auto scale. So it is getting better solution and this curve is uh, becoming less and less and it is trying to make it stable in lesser time. So this is a project file and if you want it you can contact us at jcbrolabs at gmail.com. So that's it for this video. Thank you.